Hello friends, welcome to another video of interview solutions. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can fetch unmatched records from table A after joining table B. Okay, and the second program will be a C sharp program where you have to find faults. What is wrong with that program? Okay, as you can see, I have three tables created on my SQL uh, management studio. So that's going to be your question. Let's have a look at uh, the codes. Okay, so we have three tables, employee department and employee department mapping. Okay, if, if you just follow these codes, that's going to give you three tables like this. And we should have data like this. So employee ID one will have a name Ramesh and employee level is two. Uh, employee ID Mahesh will have a level three. Um, Kumar will have a level 5 and Sudeep will have a level 2 these IDs are all auto generated so we did not put the IDs in here and department table will have three uh, departments finance IT and sales ID um, is auto generated here as well and the last table is EMP department mapping where we have employee IDs and department IDs and that's just giving us the map between the employees and their departments okay so employee one is uh, having two departments is assigned two departments and employee uh, two is assigned the third department that sales okay all right so now let's go ahead to the questions the first question for this one is find the employees having an existing department and employee level greater than two. So the first question is find all the employees who have an existing department and an employee level which is greater than two. So let's see what's the value. Um, so we have four employees from them. Uh, we only have two employees with assigned department that is one and two so I'm expecting the answer with three and four records three and four I need to see as the answer oh I'm sorry wait wait sorry that's uh, for the second one get the employees who do not have a department okay all the employees having existing department and employee level is greater than two okay so uh, who have departments so one and two have departments and whose level is greater than two is uh, employee two has a EMP level greater than two okay so I'm expecting only one record here that's Mahesh alright what could be the query guess okay give me a few seconds here okay let's see all right this answer is giving me three records while well, I was expecting only one what's missing here where clause where em dot employee level greater than 2 got it now similarly if I'm trying to find out suppose your question goes who has an employee level less than 2 or less than equals to 2 what will you get see you get two rows we want only one what are we going to do we are going to put distinct got it only one we want this okay so similarly according to our question we want greater than and along with distinct that's going to give me one record who is um, who has an existing department and his level is greater than two got it now let's move ahead to the next question 
without wasting your time get the employees who do not have a department now i'm expecting the third and fourth records to show up so that they do not have an employee yes you guessed it right we are going to use a join here now what's going to be the query few seconds here here is our answer let's see aha it's not giving me any results let's see who do not have a department okay so we need 3 and 4 okay let's do a left join we got it we got it okay we got it yes so join with left join why are left join because it's giving us all the records from employee and it's removing those where an edm.emp id is null uh if i'm not doing a left join it will have uh wait so let's see without the if but that the where hmm okay now i'm going to show you what it's doing see it's giving null here why because this these records do not match with table b table a is employee table b is emp department mapping and we do not have any employee id for the unmatched records that's why we used edm.emp id is null now let me go ahead and show you the the structure so this is the data that we are trying to find this one okay i'm excluding those records from a uh, table a and i'm showing those records that is unmatched from table b this is the similar case here okay so in, in fact if i i am removing this uh, emp id and uh, i'm using the entire statement which has an emp id is null where edm that emp id is null it will give me these two records yeah it will give me these two records where emp id is null okay so now we have our answer okay guys this is part 1 of our tutorial now let's go ahead to the next one so you have this answer let's go to the other part of our tutorial what's the next question the next question is a c sharp uh code i'm not sure if you're able to see this properly Uh, format font come on too big okay so we have two classes class budget and class calculate okay a uh, class budget has two uh values taxes and amount so this is basically like a model class and uh, this class calculate is like our uh repository which is doing the calculation and class program is the base one which is calling uh the function from calculate okay now try to figure out what's wrong in this program what do you think this program will run or will it throw an error and if it throws an error then where able to figure that still not okay 
let's go to a code and see that if I paste this one completely on my Visual Studio you will have some um, compile errors where see first thing the get amount it's expecting a parameter because you see budget I, I have made it budget one because I have another class where I have used budget so alright so it's expecting a parameter of type budget but we are not supplying that so this is going to be a null null pointer here first thing there is no argument second one why taxes because taxes is private if you look at this notepad it says taxes is private how can a private value be able to fetch in the main method it won't you have to make it public okay so this is one thing Let's, and if I make this public now what's the next test dot value what is test dot value we don't hear you we don't use a dot value here um, we might have used this one but not in this scenario it wants a return of type integer so remove the value just test okay and now how to fix this one pass the parameter bg the object of the class pass this one okay now do you still think that this program will run it won't why not because we have not assigned any value to the BG the BG model class has no data in it so when I'm going to check this one if budget dot taxes dot content COVID it's going to throw me an error that there is nothing and first of all in amount there is nothing so what are we going to do okay now let me show you the answer this one is the correct answer we have to do a null check if the amount is a null give us a false else give us a true so whenever we are here this if loop will not execute and it will move out it will just return the test value and it will move out you wanna see that let's see So guys, two main programs. Yeah, it might throw an error. So I have to remove this. Okay, we got a hit here. Now if I proceed, it's got to get amount. Now let's see if budget has anything. You see. It, it pulled up an amount zero because we haven't supplied anything so the default is going to be zero in case of an integer value in case of a string it's going to be null now if you look at the taxes it's null it does not have any value so we are going to test this under if condition we'll check it here budget dot amount equals to zero and why did we put a question mark on budget because it is it's a nullable class it's a nullable model okay so in this model we are not passing anything in this model okay so if I move forward this loop did not execute it just came out with a test returning zero now our program will continue and it will have no errors went through perfect yeah we will not have any return because we are not doing a print or anything so you need to understand what was the answer to our query so our query was something like this and we fixed it with this okay guys so that's all for today's lesson um, I should be joining with future videos stay connected and till then happy coding thank you for watching